hi guys i hope you're doing great today well i have been working in the garden all day so now i want to go ahead and spend some time with you guys to show you all the plants that i picked up on the weekend when we went to toronto before i show the plants to you i just want to share with you um three or four um things to consider when you are buying plants at this time of the year that are on sale we are today's i think the 11th of july and so it's summer has not too long started but the plants were being sold way before that right so you want to make sure that when you are buying sale plants even dirt cheap you make sure you um, take note of these things that I'll be sharing with you. One, the, one of the most important thing to consider when you're buying sale plants is your zone, your planting zone. Now, I live in zone 4A in northeastern Ontario in the countryside. And so whenever I go to buy plants, if I find anything that can be planted in zone four, three, two, one, I am good to go. I will go ahead and plant in, and that's um, perennial plants, right? And so if I see something that's zone five, no bueno, I'm not gonna buy it. It doesn't matter how cheap it is because it's more than likely not gonna do well in my neck of the woods. So that's the first thing you want to consider. The second thing you want to consider is what condition the plant is in. Now sometimes the plant may look a little dry on top. However, what you want to do is check the roots. Sometimes the roots are so caked together you can literally pull this out of the pot and check the roots to see if they are living or if they are dead or dying because it doesn't make sense buying a cheap plant that's not going to survive. Another thing you can do to check the condition of the plant is to look for new growth. So you can see that this is pretty new growth on this plant. So you know that this plant has active roots and you're good to go. Do I have the space to put this plant? Where am I going to put this plant? Am I going to keep this plant in a pot on my deck? Am I going to put this plant in my garden? Wow, but my garden is already crowded. So... It doesn't matter how cheap it is. Make sure you know where you're going to put your plant before you take it home. Now, let's get to it. The rain's actually on my head right now. So let's get to it and show you all the plants that I picked up for the garden. Now, my intention here is to make sure we have lots of fruits to nibble on when it is summertime. So I've picked up a few berries. I have a few here already. We already have an apple tree that's bearing. We have a, a cherry tree that's in, but we need two cherries for um, fruit, right? So we got a cherry recently. It hasn't gone in the ground yet, but I know exactly where it's going. And we got a pear, and the pear is gonna need a partner, but I'm trying to get something for a good price so I'm keeping my eyes open right so this is actually a goji berry I picked up two goji berries where is my other goji berry oh here we go so I picked up two goji berries because the intention is to train these branches to grow up and over a uh, an arbor because you're not really vines but they have very slinky um, limbs right 
So that's the intention to train them to go up and over. I was talking to this lady at the store when I was picking the plants up and she actually showed me some goji berry picture, pictures because she has goji berry at home and she said that I have to be prepared to support them. So that's my support for them. Arbor going up and over. So one on one side and one on the other side. And these goji berries are, this is goji fire cracker and it is good for zone three i'm in zone four so i'm in the clear okay so those are my goji berries oh there is let me show you what it looks like there there is a little goji berry right there so that's a good thing right it is fruiting which means that next year i will get some goji berries so it's pretty advanced now the next thing i picked up is a kiwi i picked up a kiwi plant it is zone four and this is kiwi isai i s s a i isai kiwi isai and i know exactly where my kiwi isai is going i knew it was good to go because the leaves look a bit weird but i could see that there was some new growth there and hair so i knew it was good to go the next thing i picked up are two and by the way these plants that i showed you here were half price well all the plants that i bought were half price and so I think it was a good deal to get a plant for six dollars especially when you're gonna get fruits from them this is um honeyberry honeyberry didn't know of the honeyberry but i picked up two honeyberry plants and this is good for zone two so i have two of these Honey berry. I don't see any signs of fruit here, so I may have to wait a couple of years, but that's okay. I'm willing to wait. I also picked up a couple blueberry plants. I already have about three, four, five, about six blueberry plants, and so these will be going in with those blueberry plants which are in a more acidic area because blueberries like uh, prefer the soil to be a little more acidic than alkaline these are this one is blueberry patriot and this one is blueberry chippewa chippewa c-h-i-p-p-e-w-a and they are both good for zone three well the zone's important but for me i know that i already have blueberries in my garden so i know that the blueberries will be fine but make sure you check your zone it doesn't matter how cheap your plant is if you don't check your zone and your plant's gonna die that happened to me actually with the hydrangea plant i bought a plant it was on sale it's still in the garden in the ground but it's not doing well because it's not good for my zone my zone is a bit too cold i actually put some rocks around the root to see if i could keep the roots a little warm but it's still not really thriving so don't guys don't buy a plant that's not good for your zone a perennial plant that's not good for your zone is not going to thrive in your garden and then I picked up a couple of ground cherry plants and guess how much I paid for these. These were $2.50 each, which is a fantastic price. Recently, I ordered some seed offline and I planted them. 
However, they didn't start germinating until it really got warm outside and I was able to put the seeds in two pots outside here. And so they're just growing. And because I want to have some um, ground cherries to eat, I pick these up and sale. And I know exactly where I'm going to plant them. As soon as I'm done with the video session, I am going to go ahead and plant them because we're supposed to be getting some rain tonight into the morning, which I'm so looking forward to because we have been having a spit of drought. I need some rain, so I'm looking forward to the rain. Okay, so Oh well, this is a tomato plant. The reason I bought it is because it's a purple tomato and it's a cherry tomato. Actually, this says indigo, indigo, purple, purple, indigo. So that's why I bought it. And I had a couple um, cherry tomatoes on it that I would have been able to show you the color, but something ate them. I don't know if it's birds or the chipmunks or the squirrels, but something ate my tomatoes. So I'm not able to show you the color there, but there is a little tag in here that you can kind of see the color. Okay. Now, those are all the edibles. Now for my hibiscus plant i'm gonna keep mine inside and then in the summer i'll bring it out i'm not sure what color it is but it does have some little buds hair so i'm looking forward to see what color they are gonna be so you can see twelve dollars and 74 cents regularly 17 dollars not 50%, but that's still a good price. As a matter of fact, when I was at the cash with it, a lady was asking me, where did you get that plant from? I said it was on the shelf. I think it's the last one that was left. So I got lucky there. Okay, let's put you down here. Then I picked up three geraniums. And the geraniums were... 95 cents. I picked up a red one, a white one, and I am hoping and praying that this one is a pink one. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't have a tag inside of it, and it doesn't have any flowers, so I don't know. So maybe I'll get a surprise, but that's okay. Surprises sometimes are good. So the geraniums we know are annuals. So I'll have them in pots outdoors in the summer. And then in the colder months, I'll just take them in and hope that I can get them to survive. <laughs> I will. Okay, now this big girl hair is a lilac now i paid 14 bucks for this lilac and i think it is a good price it's a hybrid lilac it's called albert f holden french hybrid lilac you can see the tag there I already have two different types of lilac in the garden because recently at our horticultural um, plant sale, our local horticultural society plant sale, I picked up a couple Korean lilacs and I am looking forward to see those blooms and now I have one more lilac to look forward to seeing its bloom. Now my lilac hair, um, it it grows in zone three 
and yeah i know the lilac plants attract bees if you have a garden a veggie garden you like to have bees around and it has a purple bloom and i guess i can expect it to bloom in june we also picked up two lovely um hanging baskets they were four dollars and fifty cents each no summer started not even a month ago so for us to be able to get hanging baskets for four dollars and fifty cents each at this time that was a win and but my hubby was so anxious to get them hung he wanted to see them hung so i did it for him i switched out the plastic hangers and took it um i put it in a wire basket with the metal ch metal chains and hook and we hung them at the front of the house on the columns now on our way back from toronto we stopped over in a town called skugog where we picked up three weeping willows one two three weeping willows now if there is anything you need to know about weeping willow is that it likes a lot of water so if you have areas on your property that stays moist that's the best place to plant a weeping willow tree for us here on our property we have an area in the front that stays very moist as a matter of fact water pools there during the spring when the snow melts and we get water coming from higher ground and it stays there for a bit and then throughout the summer it's it stays pretty moist so that's where we're going to put one of the weeping willows now in the back we also have a pretty moist extensive area so these two will be going in the back there Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thanks for subscribing, for commenting, liking, and sharing. By the way, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask your questions. I like to interact with you guys. And uh, if you know somebody who can actually use the content on the channel, please share with them because all of that helped the channel to grow and I appreciate it immensely. If you have watched this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.